Tulafalaba. My name is Andrew Matautia. Um, I am from Samoa and the villages of Eva and Malie. I really enjoyed what I did in my BA, so I came back and did um, an actual design degree, uh, which really, which kind of pretty much put me where I am today. A lecturer came and saw that I was struggling with all the assignments, and she um, just suggested, why don't you incorporate some of your culture into your work? And then after that, from then on, I started doing that, and I really started to excel. So DRLEF stands for Design Lead Futures. The assignment asked us to look at the future 40 years from now. The uni had just got some new uh, 3D scanning equipment. And so it was, how can I take my, my family and my culture with me into the future? And so I created 3D scans of my parents so my grandkids can see where they've come from and see their lineage. I think what I learned from that video is, and maybe what hopefully what others will learn is, what inspires them to move forward, you know. So I exhibited my master's work in White Space Gallery and the exhibition was called Sauninga. So the inspiration behind the bandages on my master's series was about culture without a voice. The guy with the whip and the red necklace, that was more about Fasa more and, the, and like how we are not allowed to talk about our own culture within a Western setting. And there's, there's also a way of living where I talk about the VAR, the VAR between brother and sister. We are not allowed to do certain things with your sister. And the other one was about moving with grace, which represents dancing and, and how we use dance to celebrate as a celebratory type of event. And so there's also another, um, a theory called Tava, which looks at our relationships. And within those relationships, uh, we look at the space, not the space that separates us here and now, but the space that connects us. It's also like how the sea, although it separates us, it also connects us. And then there's the last piece within the series, it's called the Tawalunga, which is one of my favorite ones. After every gathering, they do this Tawalunga. And so it's sort of a celebration. And I kind of wanted to show that I want to celebrate and give thanks to like people like Nan, the lecturer who allowed me to think um, to bring my culture within my assignments. The whole challenge is to try and change people's way of thinking. And when we put this way of thinking into one of the first year assignments, we also challenge non-Pacifica and Māori students to think about, oh, where are they from? And it, it was really interesting where we found that um, we asked kids to think about their cultures. And within the cohort that year, it was really funny to see that it was the non-Pacifica and Māori who found it really hard to think about their cultures, whereas Pacific and Māori had a lot to draw from.